I'm Heidi. Hi, I'm Nell. We're one to one diet consultants, and this week we're going to talk a little bit about probably a number of things, knowing us, um, but a little bit about your options to start plan now with only so many weeks to Christmas. Because if you're thinking about it, and that's kind of that thing that's typically turning over in your mind, and you're like, do I have to do the lowest step? Could I do a higher step? What is why? What do I do? Just what do I do? Yes, if the overwhelm <laughs> is real, we're here for you. And that's partly because I have got lots of inquiries in this last week or so, and I'm sure you have as well, Heidi, of yeah. I'm just looking for some information. I'm going to come back to you in January. And what I am sending back to those people is first, the link to this YouTube channel, because I think, you know, you don't have to be doing, you know, full meal replacement and you don't have to be buying lots of products from either Heidi or I to have the conversation now. Planning, yeah. planning, planning, you know, get some skin in the game, put your name in my diary, make sure you're there for the first week of January and also start building that relationship. The sooner we start that conversation, um, the more the plan can be about you and what your needs and what do you have in the next few weeks to fit in and that's not an elaborate way of saying so we can just start now but it is sort of you know trying to stand up a little bit to the I'm just going to write off the rest of the year and come at you in January and what I really want to encourage you to do is to pitch yourself to be in a brilliant position to kick off your weight loss journey then you know I want you already having a rapport with your consultant really well hydrated having done what we appreciate is the bravest part which is sending that first email, yeah. asking for help for something that you think you should know how to do because it's just eat less and just move more. You know, it's a brave move to to admit that you, you're, you know, you're in a bit of a muddle and you're looking for some instruction and some guidance when it comes to this. So the sooner we have that conversation, the sooner you know, even on Christmas Day, you can relax, you can enjoy yourself, nobody's judging you for that. And then you know what plan it's not some oh my gosh I've got you know the new year's resolution thing if you oh my gosh I've got the diet so no much pressure on yourself and it and it also it's like the boogeyman what plan what diet what is the plan where are the edges you don't actually know what you're talking about what we're suggesting is why don't you you know know that I'm starting that plan with that person that week and so I can shelve it for now and I can keep in contact if that's helpful, because I would say, you know, all of those things that Heidi talked us through about the diary, you know, and about not feeling the overwhelm during that Christmas period or the, the month of December jan generally, because you can still make excellent progress really about sort of getting what we always talk about, that elusive mindset. You know, all of those. It's partly about sort of just putting yourself in that position and being you know, a person of your word who's going to start this, and you know, and I think there's a lot of that about, and it's a, it's a misconception to think that it's all going to be the wham bam January the first stand on the scales and shame me into it. <laughs> yes, and it's a lot of pressure to put on yourself. It and generally, what tends to happen is we don't start on the first of January. We put that oh because we on. feel so dreadful at that point. How yes. many of us? I mean, and I, we've still got three boxes of celebrations in the corner, and we think, oh, should I start now? The same conversation that you're having with yourself now, you'll be having that first week. And of I January. think that's the thing. I mean, what I mean, the claim I'm sort of making is what we we just said before we press record, isn't it, Heidi? It's that thing of we we're not here to necessarily help you achieve weight loss between now and then. You know, you're going to do what you're going to do, and that's absolutely fine. We respect that. You said you wanted to start in January, but can we start the relationship now so that you don't put in put on? Can we? Yeah, ask, can, you could can just. We, can we challenge you to maintain, make good decisions, practice some of those skills, you know, drink the water, have the, you know, have the mindfulness around food so that we're not, you know, starting to, you know, we're not adding to the mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that, the, you know, we're not adding the miles to the end of your journey with a kind of what, what's the YouTube friendly version of saying it, Heidi, without between now and the end of the year hitting, flipping the switch. Without throwing yourself into a bucket bucket for the next two months and putting on a stone. That's what we're saying. You do really. have a way of saying it. You really do. <laughs> the thing is, you know, you could book your appointment, have a chat, reassure yourself that we are nice people and we are not going to be those people jumping on you like a sergeant major, shaming you oh, throughout December. You, you, you're already here and you're already watching this. Some of you already sent the email. Some of you have already made little, little gestures towards... Gone to Actually, on like social media. The, the world is telling me I shouldn't bother until after Christmas. And I just, you know, gently, in a kind of, you know, non-confrontational kind of way. Well, say, just have a chat. Just have a chat. Just have a chat. Actually, you've done the hardest part and you kind of do want to do it, but 
don't don't get totally swayed by all the marketing and advertising. You will not be eating your body weight between now and the end of the year. There is no obligation to do so. If you don't want to do it, then, you yeah. know. And the marketing and, and, wants to make you think Christmas is tomorrow. And it most definitely is not. And marketing also wants time. to make, doesn't it, Heidi? It makes you want to believe that everybody is behaving like that. Yes. Everybody's just thrown it up in the air until we're all, you know, going on what we, you know, euphemistic. And also, I think in January. If you put the, self, the pressure on yourself of, I'm going to start this on January the 1st and that will be it. And I'll put a hard line in the sand. Actually, it's almost like daring yourself to eat all the things. It almost tips you over into, well, because I'm doing that on the 1st of December, I must make sure I try every mince pie. And I think that. that's made even <laughs> worse by it being a slightly shady plan. Because then it, we build it up into something. We don't really know the details. We don't really know the directions. We just know that we've got to sort of start this. And that's where it becomes woolly and it becomes something that we, you know, it manifests into something that we don't want to do. And that itself builds pressure from now not just from january like you start putting the pressure on yourself straight away that's why i went like that when i went health kick because health kick is such a kind of it's got such woolly sort of you know sanctimonious connotations of you know weight loss being a, a lazy assumption or you know that you know all overweight people are unhealthy or that healthy is it what do you mean what are you actually going to do um and i think that's the that's the gentle challenge but that is us as you know fairly demanding one-to-one -one consultants we we are here to sort of nail down that plan and once you know what it looks like oh it's so liberating yeah, that's the thing i was going to say you know a lot of times people come and they're like, well, what about if I do this? Or, or I'm not sure what we should do. And we can say, right, this is how it could work. How does that yes. sound to you? And we'll have a conversation. I'll lay out some options. And actually, once you know, oh, so I'm going to be doing this. This is how I book my appointments. This is how many products I'm going to have. These are the meals I need to plan for. This is when I'm going to start. This is how I order. All of a sudden, all your worries have gone away. Yeah, the worries that you didn't really know you had, it was just the ominous kind of, you know, where you diet looming, like it yeah. was some sort of, you know. But and it, it is suddenly like seems terrible. You know when you get the Christmas board game and it's the new Christmas board game and everybody loves it and you've heard brilliant things about it and you open the leaflet and it's like this, this book of instructions. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is completely overwhelming. I'm never uh, going to... I'm just going to say the other day I had to play a game. I never played before with my son. It was the most complicated game I've ever seen in my life. And I need, I felt like I needed a consultant to explain how. The Don't you feel that that's like what this is, though? You get the Christmas game well. out and you've heard that it's really good fun and they make it like sound really fun. But this already feels really stressful. But once you're up and running and you've learned the rules, it is really fun. And it is sort of straightforward. And, and we're then here to decide for it, too. And says, <laughs> that looks really complicated. And you're like, no, no, no. It, it, it's But once you learn how to play, it's really fun, I promise. It's yeah. very similar to the overwhelm that you feel when you first start looking in to any diet and the overwhelm you feel when you try and go it alone we all need a buddy up we all need a bit of guidance and we all need somebody particularly at quite vulnerable times of year to tell us to put our where our mouth is you know to to really kind of you know get to to, to do what you said you were going to do and not wait because you know i've got one work dinner to get out of the way yeah i think if you look at it like you're completing a giant jigsaw puzzle and we know exactly what the puzzle looks like. And we have all the pieces lined up that you're going to need. And all I'm going to do is just hand you the next piece to kindly <laughs> put in. And you're going to be like, oh my God, that's amazing. Look what I've done. And we're going to worry about all the other stuff behind the scenes. And we're just going to let you know what the next bit is that you need to deal with. The very small bit of information you need to be successful this that's week. That's such a lovely way of putting it. And it's not quite the same thing as saying, there's still six weeks left. You can still do a stone challenge. You know, oh, it's the, the, the ever rising panic. What you can do is just start having the conversation and we promise we will respect you into, you know, sometimes people do want people are very um, target orientated and I love a timed target. I love a I love an outfit for that day as much as the next person. That's all fine. Different different things work for different people. But if you are a little bit more just kind of circling the drain and thinking, I would like to do something about my weight. Don't, you know, don't worry about cliches. Don't worry about beginning, beginnings of the year and all of the rest of it and the looking back and the look, don't worry. Let's just shelve all of that and start having the conversation. And like Heidi says, one step at a time, piece by piece. That's how anybody, no matter what, you know, actually motivates them to make the phone call in the first place. That's how where everybody starts. Yeah. And once you get tatting to one of us, your all of those kind of anxieties will melt away a little bit. 
and we'll we'll start building that rapport and we'll get to know you and be able to support you in the way you need to be supported and we can gently introduce you to the plan and we can gently transition to the plan it doesn't have to be this hard stop and this raw let's go it can be yeah of course it can (laughs) You know, and we love that. It is, a, you know, it is, it is often the way that people start. It is also allowed to not be you. You know, it, I, I don't, I don't really, you know, I don't remember channeling that at the beginning of my weight loss journey. Mine was a more sort of, you know, um, you know, I- internal kind of steeliness of, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to, you know, I daren't say it out loud. It's sort of like, you know, a lot of times you're just tired. You're tired of your own stuff. So you're, you're just tired gonna, of being in this place and you you're just, just going to keep putting one foot in front of the other. <laughs> and I think that's where we appreciate the support that that makes such a difference on, you know, when you do need to be propped up and reminded that yeah. one foot in front of the other is more than enough because that is how the journey is actually achieved. Yeah. Um, but it is it's it's really interesting everybody comes at it in their own way at different times but like Heidi said the world will make you feel like it's all happening tomorrow and there's plenty of people I've spoken to and I've said oh what about you know what about Christmas looming and they said you know what Christmas is a couple of days and it's for me too my family is not big and we're not religious and we do a bit of you know family tradition stuff but it doesn't have to be all around food. I understand that food is a big part of it for a lot of people, but it doesn't have to be. So if you are looking for, you know, a bit of support that you're not alone, and I know everybody's making you feel like that, but, you know, you, you can break free and give yourself the breathing room to start on a random Thursday because, you, you, because you're ready. Yeah. Don't wait for a Monday. Don't wait for a January. <laughs> Don't wait for a Monday. Mondays are too hot. And I got a lovely message from someone this morning saying, and don't wait forever. Yeah. Been a bit poorly and she messaged me to say, it was such a lovely phrase that she used. I will mention no names, but it was lovely. It's been a rough few weeks, but I also have to realise that things will crop up and I need to just start. Otherwise, I'm never going to. She's written, no point sitting around moping. I mean, I just love that. I love that she knows that this is a journey and, you know, it, a Thursday when you sneak up on yourself is just as good as, yep. you know, the, the banners and ticker tape of a of a Monday morning way. <laughs> exactly. So if you are thinking about it, you would like to know a bit more. You would just like a chat to see how it could work. Maybe plan for January or plan to start in the, between that little gap between Christmas and New Year. Or you're thinking... Could I do something now? Maybe. What are the options? Could I just have some information to see if it could be something for me? Then hit us up. Our contact details in the description box below. Me and Elle both have information packs. We do free consultations. We're happy to answer your questions. We're here to support you and give you all the information so you can make the best decision for you and support you in whatever way you would need to. So we look forward to seeing you again next week. Please do subscribe because we put a video up every single every week, week somehow i don't oh, know how we do it uh but we do um so please subscribe uh, because we would love to see you back here next week have a good one bye